Also known as the Great Basin Blonde, the Fresno County Blonde, Mojave Desert Tarantula, and the Northern Blonde, this cast member of a horror movie, or giant teddy bear depending on your outlook, is a valuable member of the desert community and has a lifespan of 25 to 40 years. This eight-legged all-star is found in California, Nevada, Utah, and Arizona. Their eight long legs, as a member of the arachnid family, equip them with incredible mobility over the hot, rocky desert terrain. Growing three to four inches in length, their size can seem intimidating. However, these gentle giants are relatively harmless to humans, and their bite is as potent as a bee sting. As a nocturnal hunter, they prey on small insects such as grasshoppers and beetles, as well as small mammals and lizards. Like most desert creatures, they live in underground burrows, which offer protection from the desert heat and predators. Their six to eight inch deep burrows are lined with silk for structural integrity and to prevent them from collapsing. The Mojave Blonde Tarantula is one of more than 850 tarantula species around the world. Little has changed in the evolution of these ancient creatures, which fossil records indicate emerged some 350 million years ago in the Carboniferous period of the late Paleozoic era. This arachnid, once it has ambushed its prey, injects paralyzing venom in its captured prey, coursing digestive enzyme-containing fluid through its body that breaks down tissue, liquefying the unfortunate victim. The consumption of a single cricket can satisfy this hunter for several weeks. But for every hunter, there is an equally skilled and adapt nemesis, the tarantula hawk wasp. This wasp, native to the U.S. Southwest, actively seeks out tarantula burrows. It baits the tarantula out of its protective burrow to face it in aerial combat. Once stung in the blind spot of its back, the tarantula is paralyzed by the wasp's venom. Unable to escape, the wasp lays its eggs in the tarantula's back and drags it to its burrow for its young to feed on the vanquished foe. Such is the circle of life in the harsh and unforgiving landscape that is the Mojave Desert. For larger predators, the Mojave Blonde does have a defense mechanism to protect itself. The belly of the abdomen is covered with coarse brittle hairs that, when flung off with the back legs, get lodged in the eyes and mouth of an unsuspecting coyote, snake, or larger lizard. These barbed hairs cause irritation dissuading the predators, causing it to retreat, questioning its dinner plans. If not preyed upon, the Mojave Blonde tarantula males leave their burrows in autumn in search for a mate. Once he has found a burrow, he taps on the ground and vibrates the ground to indicate his presence. The female emerges and the two mate, exchanging genes and furthering the genes of the species. The female stores the sperm until the following spring, while she will spin a thick silk nest to deposit upwards of 300 fertilized eggs. The young tarantulas, if not preyed upon by the desert ants, remain in the nest for up to two months before venturing out into the desert to fend for themselves and create their own safe burrows. These misunderstood creatures are an icon of the Mojave Desert, giving surprising biological range to the vastness of its complex ecology. Whether you enjoy them or not, their role in the extreme desert environment is as important as it is multifaceted. Well, I hope you've learned something today about this complex creature. Please subscribe and like this video, show support to the channel, and as always, have a great rest of the day.